Today we are learning how to rotate a shape 90 degrees counterclockwise without relying on tracing paper. And it's definitely a little tricky, however there are definitely some tips you can use to figure it out. Notice I put the little arrow there to remind myself which way I'm rotating because that's going to come in handy when I'm turning paper all over the place. But one of the first tips you can use is rotating the points on an axis first. For example, point A. Rotating this 90 degrees counterclockwise is easy because it's going to end up on the axis next to it. It's just going to rotate onto the next axis. So right now, it's two steps away from the origin. When it rotates counterclockwise, 90 degrees, it's going to end up two steps away from the origin while on this axis. Okay. However, the other points aren't going to be as easy because the other points aren't on any of the axes. So, I've got another trick you can use to figure out where those are going to go. I'll do point B. Notice how point B right now is four steps to the right and three steps up above the origin. So, from the origin, four steps right, three steps up. To figure out where B prime is going to go, what I do is I take my coordinate grid and rotate it and then follow that exact same pathway that I had before. So remember it was four steps to the right and three steps up. If I rotate my paper from the origin and go four steps right and three steps up, that's where B prime is going to be. Now let's do C. C is eight steps right and two steps up. Rotate my paper eight steps right, two steps up. There's C prime. D is going to be nine steps right, five steps down. Rotate my paper. Nine steps right, five steps down. That's D prime. If I connect my dots, that gives me my rotated trapezoid. Okay, So the key to doing this is basing on the origin, find a path that goes from the origin to your point, and then rotate your paper and repeat that path. Alright, good luck!